Hey guys, this is Robert with RC1 Hobbies, and I'm going to do a video on soldering the Horizon EC3 battery connector. Uh, these are the basic tools I use to do that work. Uh, we got our soldering iron, our uh, hex wrench to push in the battery tabs, a hobby knife for getting some flux out, wire stripper, wire cutters, needle nose pliers, and solder and flux. So we're going to zoom in and do that right now. Okay, here we have a close-up of our EC3 battery connector. So we've used, I've used this before, so you can see the wire is already soldered into it, but we're going to reuse it. You don't have to throw these away. So what I like to use is this, the jigs up. Because of the holes here and the alligator clips, it really makes for a useful tool. Even these other areas over here for doing Dean connectors or T connectors, this works really well. So, for this video, we're going to take these plugs out. In order to take them out, we need some space for this to push through. So, the holes work out really nice. So, we can put uh, our hex driver that has a flat end to push this connector out. So, you can pop them out like that. So, we want to get them both out. Do that one, and now we'll go to the second one. Take that out. You could use a hammer. You don't if it hurts your hand because it can hurt your hand. So now I have these out. So now I want to get the old wire off. So here's where we go with the alligator clips. We put the battery connector in there, and we can remove this insulation. It comes right off. And we want to heat this wire up so we can pull it out of the old solder. So the way we can do that efficiently is we get our soldering iron, we wipe it off, and we want to add solder so we can heat up this surface to get the solder hot. Uh, if this moves like this, we can put it in a better position, like right there. So now we're ready to heat up our solder so we're going to add solder we're going to tin our iron add some solder there so that makes it easier to pull out those wires because it'll heat up the solder fast so I, I'm going to grab the wire with my needle nose pliers and put the hot solder on there and heat up this try to heat up this connector it takes a little while because this surface this whole thing has to heat up all right, now we want to prepare a wire to go inside. So we want to strip this wire with our wire strippers and make sure that we're cutting the insulation and not the wire because we need the wire. So we're going to gauge the diameter of the wire to the cutout. You see how we can, and that's not cutting any insulation, so we can move up to the next one. Try that. That did pretty good. So we cut the insulation without cutting wires. A couple of wires is not a big deal if that happens. And we can actually go a little longer on this because of the connector type. Alright, so now we want to tin this wire. So we want to put it in our connector, our alligator clip. <clears throat> and we want to tin this wire by getting a little bit of our flux and wiping it on the wire. This creates a primer for the wire so the solder will adhere to it quickly. If you don't, you'll struggle getting the solder to stick to the wire it, it, it's I don't have any I haven't had good uh, success without using flux so I use flux some people if you're a good solderer you don't use flux well I'm not a good solder so I have to use flux so you can see what happens when you use flux you can tin this tin the iron 
shoot the solder right into the iron and look at the wires tinned it's very nice and if you get a wire sticking out poke it back in there so now that's ready that's tinned that's ready to go in the connector so let's get the connector ready take that out uh, we can do this a couple ways you can use the alligator clips or you could use the jigs up hole whatever you prefer so in this case we're going to use the jigs up hole because it's going to hold it really uh, we don't have to worry about it coming out of the alligator clip we can use the alligator clip it doesn't matter whatever you prefer so uh, put it back in the jigs up and I'm going to try to put a little angle on this so you can see inside what's going on here so we're going to get our soldering iron get our tinned wire we're gonna add some uh, solder here to the soldering iron we're gonna stick it in the battery uh, connector and heat it up once it's heated up then we're gonna get our wire ready because it's going to go right in there now we can use the wire and rub it up against the soldering iron it's not always the easiest way let's put it in there and hold till it cools up i let go before it was totally hot i mean totally cool let's see if we can re probably be fine but you see what happens if you don't hold all the way and look and i got too much solder too much solder so we got to get rid of that got to get rid of that solder there's a couple ways to do that you can cut it off with a wire cutter you can heat it up with soldering iron try to wipe it away wipe wipe the excess on your soldering station sponge it doesn't do a clean job it gets the big stuff but it doesn't get the little stuff and, and no, one way to get the little stuff is you can get some canned air and heat it up when it's real liquidy blow it and it'll blow it off so this connector is a little sideways so it will work um, but if you want it perfect you have to heat it back up pull the wire out and reinstall the wire and that's not always easy to do without cutting the wire so if you have to cut the wire you want it perfect just cut the wire uh, if not you're gonna have to get solder all over the side of the battery connector and heat this thing up and get it out like that and then re reinsert it and hold it till it gets cold and if the wire gets too hot for you to hold that's what you use uh, needle those pliers for and here we have the same issue we have excess solder here so we want to get rid of that so we can keep doing this and wiping it away but it can stop your battery connector from going in if it gets too thick so we can try this see what happens let's find our battery connector and find the positive marking on the battery connector so here we see the positive marking and the negative so we want to put the red in the positive let's see if this goes in we're gonna to have to use our wrench to push that in see if we can push it in from the side as much as possible without damaging the insulation on the wire it did go in so that will work that one's in so now we got to go to this next one and do that one so we same process get rid of this insulation because it's gonna melt like rubber and we don't want that on our soldering iron it smells bad and then it's dirty so now we got to heat this guy up get our needle nose pliers ready get our soldering iron get a little solder on the soldering iron so we've got solder on the soldering iron we're going to place it 
on the wire we're going to get our needle nose pliers we're going to heat up this battery connector as best we can pull it out remember that what you pull out is going to be extremely hot so don't set it down on something that can melt or grab it with your finger you will get burned and you don't want to burn your fingers because it doesn't feel good plus uh, you can't use your finger very easily when it's burned so here we go we got this connector ready now we want to get the, the pot the negative wire ready to go to go in to our wire and we want to strip the wire we already know what size we're using the two millimeter wire that's good get our solder flux And then we want to get our solder ready, soldering iron ready, add some solder, and then feed some solder in there to get your wire good and tin. All right, now remember what happened last time, so probably should take could take some the solder off so we can do that a couple ways well one way we're gonna do it is we're going to put it back in our clip get our canned air ready now you have to be careful because when you use this the solder is gonna be hot and it's gonna blow in this other area so we wanna now we just thinned out the solder on the wire and the, the solder went on our workbench so we don't want anybody near us or in the line of overspray for that any items that can melt we don't want that in the way because the solder does go all over the place and it's hot so now we're ready to install our newly tinned wire into our battery connector and remember we do the same thing let's try doing this without any solder so we don't have too much solder so we can stick the tip right in there get everything hot and once you see that's hot stick the battery in, uh, wire in there and hold I would say hold at least five seconds because this whole area is really hot and it's got a lot of mass so I've let it sit and I'm pulling on it to see if we can pull the wire out because oh look we pulled the wire out so we don't have enough solder in there so now in this case we'll just add solder to our soldering iron so let's add some solder here we're gonna stick it in there get it hot again everything's hot Stick our wire in there, hold, wipe off our soldering iron, put the iron, iron back in its holster. Alright, so now we can pull on this again. We can see we got extra solder there. Remember what we do with that. We can do the same thing we did with the wire. We can wipe it or we can do our canned air trick. Making sure nobody's going to get burned or any items are going to get burned there with the overspray sometimes the solder wraps around the connector go wipe it off so now we want to put this back in our battery connector making sure it's cooled off so you don't get burned so we're going to press this in see if it goes in it doesn't have too much solder and we want to look for a spot to where we're not going to tear it up. All right, it popped in. Up, oh, not all the way. It's got to go in farther. There we go. That one's in. Ready to go. We can pull on these wires to make sure they're in there. So 
there's our EC3 connector battery connector soldered and that's it for this video so I hope you guys enjoyed that you can leave some comments below again I'm not a professional so thanks for watching until next time we'll see you